Hispanics and AIDS. Why the Red Sox want to check out some of the Mets' bats as the Mets try to make it three in a row at Fenway. This is INN, the independent news on Channel 11 with Brad Holbrook and Donna Hanover. Good evening. The company that owns the helicopter which crashed into the Hudson River yesterday is under intense scrutiny tonight. And new revelations are emerging about that company's safety record. Traffic reporter Jane Doornocker died after the crash. The pilot, William Pate, is hospitalized tonight in critical condition. Alec Roberts has more on the investigation into the tragedy. Investigators for the National Transportation Safety Board and the FAA are poring over the remains of NBC's traffic helicopter, a process that will take several months. Do you have any idea yet as to what caused the crash? The answer is no. Also being analyzed, a tape of Jane Doornocker's last broadcast and the strange whining sound heard just before it crashed and sank off a pier on the west side of Manhattan. <laughs> Investigators early this morning visited Spectrum Helicopters, which flies and owns the Enstrom 28Fs used by NBC traffic reporters. It was an Enstrom that crashed with Doornocker aboard last April, and another Spectrum Enstrom that crashed in the Hackensack River last June. In 1985, the FAA grounded Spectrum for 45 days, citing serious safety violations. They included reckless operation of an aircraft, the use of an unlicensed pilot, and entering false and fictitious information in maintenance logs. Um, the problem was a paperwork snafu. We were a small company growing very quickly, and we kept up with the maintenance, kept up with our flight department. Everything checked out, but the paperwork fell a little bit behind. The FAA basically gave us a slap on the wrist. Spectrum has grounded its four other Enstroms as a controversy grew around that aircraft. No other New York station uses the inexpensive piston helicopter, using instead the more reliable jet turbine choppers. Traffic reporter Donna Fiducia, who now gives reports for CBS Radio, worked for two years for NBC. She says that last year, when the Spectrum contract came up for renewal, traffic reporters asked for turbine helicopters. From a comfort standpoint, they're very nice, but also uh, they seem to have a better track record. But I think NBC decided to, uh, to go with something that was a little more economical. According to aviation insurance agent Jean Duflo, insurance for an Enstrom is nearly impossible to obtain on the open market because of its poor track record. For the Independent News, I'm Alec Roberts in New York. In other news, the World Series is coming back to New York last night.